Hello, I'm Chef Sky from Infused Cooking. Welcome to my Colorado kitchen. Today we're going to talk about infusing a whole chicken with Levo butter. This is an easy way to infuse a whole chicken. In this video, you'll find out why butter infused chicken is so delicious, what you'll need from your kitchen, and how to successfully infuse a whole chicken. Thank you, and let's get infused. Chicken is one of the tastiest meats around. Full of protein, sweet, and flavorful. It's important to know all the tricks of cooking a perfect chicken breast, but this video is about infusing a whole chicken. One great way of having tender, juicy chicken every time is a butter-injected chicken. This method of injecting is marinating from the inside out. Rubs and glazes are placed on the surface of the meat and have very little penetration of the meat. But with a meat injector, having a flavorful packed chicken is just a simple push of a plunger. And the kitchen items are an oven, 9 by 13 baking dish, aluminum foil, meat injector, glass measuring cup, instant read digital thermometer. And the ingredients are whole chicken, one stick of Levo butter melted, apple juice, brown sugar, garlic powder, ground black pepper, In a glass measuring cup, thoroughly combine the melted butter, apple juice, brown sugar, and garlic powder to make the butter sauce. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Insert the meat injector into the sauce. Pull back the plunger and fill the injector with the sauce. To inject chicken, Insert the needle into the drumsticks and wings and slowly push it into the opposite side. Careful not to breach the skin. Inject the sauce slowly until you start to feel pressure pushing back. As you withdraw the needle, slowly inject more sauce to allow for even distribution of flavors. You don't want to go too fast or the built up pressure will cause the butter to leak. Using the same method, inject the chicken breast in several locations across the breast. Season the whole outside of the chicken with dry rub. Then sprinkle on some of the extra brown sugar onto the skin to give it a crisp skin. Cook the chicken for 40 to 60 minutes. Cook until the chicken reaches an internal temperature of 175 degrees. Insert the meat thermometer into the breast meat for the most accurate temperature reading. Once the chicken is finished cooking, remove from the oven and allow the chicken to rest for a few minutes. Carve and enjoy. If you want to keep the apple juice flavor supple, Dilute the juice with water. You can also dilute with your favorite bourbon or rum for a little extra flavor. There are a lot of different options for sprays to moisturize your meats while cooking. Soda, vinegar, and fruit juices. Thank you and happy infusing. 